Hello friends, this video on 3 dimensional geometry part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 20. We will learn different form of uh, equation of the plane that is intercept form where we have intercepts. For example, this point here will be a, 0, 0, x1 with y you get this length is b 0 b so this point will be 0 comma b comma 0 and this is point is c so this will be 0 comma 0 comma c so this is a special kind of equations where you have this uh, x intercept y intercept and z intercept this plane touches all x y and z lines right at a b and c position such kind of equation has x by a plus y by b plus z by c is equal to 1. So this is the equation of the plane. To prove what I can do is let's prove this. Let's prove this. So let, let assume ax plus by plus cz plus d is equal to 0. A general equation. A general equation. A general plane equation. General plane equation of this form ax plus by plus cz is equal to d. The general equation of the plane. We'll put all these three points because this all these three points satisfies this equation. Thus, I'll get the value of a, b, c. So let's see that. Let's put the point one, zero, zero, c. What you get? A into zero plus b into zero plus capital C into small c plus d is equal to zero, right? So what I get with this? capital C is minus D by small c. Correct. Similarly, let's put this point 0 comma B comma 0. With this you get A comma 0 plus capital B into small b plus C comma 0 plus D is equal to 0 or you get capital B is mi minus D by small b. The third point is A 0 0. This is all satisfied, so this becomes a into small a plus b into 0 plus c into again 0 plus d is equal to 0 or I get capital A is minus d by small a. Let's put the value of a, b, c in this equation. So you get a is that is minus d by a x plus b is what minus d by b minus d by b plus c is minus d by c minus d by c plus d is equal to 0 you take d common so d common you get so you get x by a plus y by b plus z by c minus 1 is equal to 0 right you take minus d common actually or you get x by a plus y by b plus z by c is equal to this is the equation very easy way to prove this because we have this we, we know this three points and we just use the normal equation and form this or you could have used that way also we have three points and we could have used this equation x minus x1 y minus sorry y minus y1 z minus z1 and then we can have used this guy i think x1 minus x2 y1 minus y2 z1 minus z2 x1 minus x3, y1 minus y3, z1 minus z3, right? This is equal to 0. So we could have used this equation also to get this, but this was the easier way to begin. Let's take some example on this. We have to find the intercept uh, cut off by this plane. So we know the equation is of this form x by a plus y by b plus z by c is equal to 1. So let's convert this into this form, so divide everything by 5. We have this equation. So here we have 1, so let's divide everything by 5. So what I get is x by 5 by 2 plus y by 5 plus z by minus 5 is equal to 1. So if you see this is equal to this form, both are same. If we compare this, I get a as 5 by 2, b as 5 c as minus 5 
So these are my intercepts. Very simple. Thus you have to convert this equation into this form and compare. Here you have to find the equation of the plane with three intercepts on y axis and parallel to z o x plane. Please pay a little attention here. So let's assume I have this my x, y, z axis. x, this is y and this is z. It has to be straight out. Now equation says uh, equation the plane with three intercept on y axis. That means on y axis this point is there. This is 3. Right? So x is 0, y is 3 and y is z. Is this is one point here. And it's parallel to ZOX plane. So if you see if line, if some plane is parallel to ZOX plane, it is something like this. Right? This is parallel to ZOX plane. This is my ZOX plane. And it's parallel to ZOX plane. That means equation of the plane that is parallel to ZOX plane is something of this form. Y is equal to B where B is any value. Right? You, you take Y is equal to B and you create a plane. Other things are all zero, right? You move it across. This is the equation of the plane of plane parallel to ZOX plane. This ZOX plane I have parallel to this. I get this plane which is parallel to ZOX plane. That is nothing but y is equal to b where b is any number. In this case, it says three is a point. That means y is equal to three is the equation we are looking at. Correct. So if you see this point, this is nothing but this guy is nothing but y is equal to b. The one with the stars is a plane y is equal to b. So here nothing to solve. More about you have to think that uh, you have this plane that is pa parallel to zox plane. That means you are talking about y is equal to some constant kind of plane. And we are told that the constant is 3. So y is equal to b is that plane. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.